Bitcoin is currently just over 150 days away from its Bitcoin halving event in April 2024. But what's the worst case scenario that we could potentially think of when comparing to previous cycles from current price levels? That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. So subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Like this video if you enjoy content like this going forward. And let's dive right into it. So when we think of Bitcoin's halving, it breaks down into a few key periods and you can get very detailed but these are the key periods to really focus on. It's the pre-halving period where we see lots of volatility to the upside as well as to the downside. And we'll look at 2015 and 2016 in a bit more detail as well. We tend to see the reaccumulation phase that occurs after the halving event where we just move sideways for a few weeks. And then we see the green parabolic price action in a new confirmed uptrend that occurs many months after the halving event. So right now we're still in the pre-halving period, but the thing to talk about is that what if we were to see a deeper retrace just like we saw in 2019, well we'd need to really crash 44% from current levels to drop into the 20k region that's around this macro higher low. That would be the one, two, three, so that's the third touch of this macro high low just like we saw here one two and three being the third macro high low touch as well this is the worst case scenario for bitcoin 44 percent towards the downside into 20k but it's really important to note that we're seeing something really different occur. And this is where the halving phases can get a bit more detailed. So the pre-halving rally being the light blue and the pre-halving retrace being the dark blue circle here. Because at this point in the cycle in 2016, for instance, Bitcoin was just consolidating in a reaccumulation range just over here for many weeks at a time before, just before the halving, we saw that light blue pre-halving rally take place here. We saw a breakout from that reaccumulation range only to see the pre-halving retrace take place and see price segue into a new reaccumulation period. But just notice how that new reaccumulation period was this red region. So typically what we see in a post halving period in the immediate weeks after the halving reaccumulation at highs in 2019 of course we saw a crash take place in the pre-halving period but then once again just before the halving we saw a pre-halving rally in the light blue period and then a pre-halving retrace into a multi-week reaccumulation period once again so it's really important to make note of the fact that a pre-halving rally tends to occur two months before the halving and that's the case in 2020 but also 2016. You can see how these blue, light blue regions are approximately equal. Two months before the halving is where we see a light blue pre-halving rally take place and the same thing could occur especially if we were to see a retrace during this pre-halving period that is the orange box right over here. We tend to see volatility volatility during a pre-halving period in this orange box. You can see that here, especially here in 2019, but also even in 2015 and 2016. It's just that this volatility is also to the downside and upside, but going sideways for the most part. Not too drastic to the downside, not too drastic towards the upside either, but then ultimately we resolve and see a breakout to new highs. That's the key thing to really focus on. So going forward and taking all of these phases into account, it's really important to focus on the key takeaways. And those key takeaways are as follows. This next 100 day period, which is the orange period right over here, this is where we could still see upside and downside volatility as we approach the halving event. In the worst case scenario, we'll see a 2019 crash. And of course, this was triggered by the March 2020 pandemic. We all are very familiar with that. But even before then, we were still seeing retracement in price action going into this pre-halving period. So it's not like this is a black swan event and a black swan event is the only thing that will see price drop a bit lower in this cycle because retracements did occur prior to the halving many months prior to the halving even a little bit earlier than this pre-halving period but still nonetheless the key takeaway here is that any deeper retracement during this period 
is going to be an opportunity for price action and investors going forward, whether that's just a retrace into 31k, whether that's by some by some uh, luck to get a 25k re retest or even a 20k retest region. Those are kind of the key levels to be really focusing on going forward. 31k, 25k, and maybe even 22k, 20k, which is the worst case scenario. But if we of course see price rally even higher from here, then we're not gonna see those levels most likely, maybe 31k. But if we rally higher, then it's going to take a really, really deep retrace to see those low 20K levels. And that's when they become a little bit less probable if we see price rally even higher from here. So even then, still a re retrace from current levels or whether they're still from even higher levels, a retrace is necessary to set price up for that pre-halving rally that occurs two months before the halving. So if the halving is in April 2024, we could see a pre-halving rally start kicking off in February of 2024, the halving year. But of course, for that sort of halving rally to take place, we'd need to see a retrace going into January, going into February, for then price to reverse towards the upside and rally going into the halving event. And then going into the halving event, we see price slow down and retrace in a pre-halving retrace moment. Here we saw minus 20% around the halving event. That was the 2020 retrace, pre-halving retrace depth. Here we saw 38% in 2016. After the pre-halving rally, we saw a crash take place, 38%. This was a downside wick, so lots of downside volatility on that retrace. But generally speaking, I think minus 20% is something we can at least expect around this 2023 halving. So first, a deeper retrace, whether it's from current price levels or even higher price levels, that retrace going into January, February, February will be important for then price to reverse from and then rally into a pre-halving rally. That will take us into the pre-halving retrace of around 20%. And this is where price will consolidate most likely for multiple weeks at a time forming a reaccumulation range, whether it's at these levels here or slightly even higher. The key thing to note here is that sideways accumulation, this will really test people's patience. People are going to be just selling Bitcoin to try and find an altcoin trade that they'd love to take and make a bigger profit on. But the key thing here is to be patient, maybe even add to your position here because this is a reaccumulation period right over here. And this is the last time to really be adding and reaccumulating to your existing portfolio for Bitcoin because once price breaks towards the upside, that's going to be a confirmed uptrend. So this is essentially a sideways accumulation period before a confirmed uptrend. So as long as you're patient for multiple weeks, several weeks, maybe even a few months, if you're patient enough, this range will resolve in your favor and you'll gain a tremendous return on investment by holding in what is the last stage of the halving cycle, the post halving parabola. This is where gains are the quickest, most parabolic. This is also where the market is most emotional. And this is this is a period that occurs 200 days after the halving. So really important to be patient in the immediate weeks after the halving as we just consolidate for multiple weeks, maybe even a few months. But then we see price resume its uptrend for a very long time as well. These periods here, as you can see, they can last a long time. These green parabolic periods here, they can last a long time and they are approximately symmetrical across cycles. You can see that these two boxes are pretty much almost equal and they occur after we see a breakout from the reaccumulation range. So those are the five phases of the halving event. The worst case scenario is of course a crash into the macro higher low. It is low probability. It's the low probable outcome still technically a possibility, but I think we need to have a black swan event to see that sort of retracement. That's the worst case scenario, but we can still see 
a retrace of 20 to 30 percent from maybe even higher levels but it's really important to make note that any sort of deeper retraces during this orange boxed pre-halving period those are going to be the last real accumulation spots at a discount for Bitcoin going into the halving. And then, of course, you've got this pre-halving retrace and reaccumulation period. Those are also really great opportunities and checkpoints for reaccumulation before we enter that most parabolic phase of the uptrend in the post-halving period. And that's the parabolic green period here where we rally to new all-time highs and enjoy a fantastic bull market for Bitcoin. That's about it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Like this video if you enjoyed this one. Check out the top right hand corner video and I'll speak to you in that one. Speak to you soon.